this is uh, agave descadiana, or the smooth agave, otherwise known as the tropical agave, uh, in my folks' backyard here. And uh, we've had this one about four or five, five years maybe. Um, they all send up their stalks at different times depending upon the species, but um, this one decided to bloom about five years in. And what happens is as this grows up, it blooms its monocarpics, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bloom one time throughout its lifetime and the plant's going to die. Don't think that, that as soon as it starts shooting its stock up that you're going to save the plant by cutting the flower off. Uh, it's not going to save it. <laughs> it's it's going to die regardless once it's starting it started its blooming cycle. So the whole way this plant reproduces is it shoots up this beautiful stock of flowers and then it puts on these plantlets. Which you can, if you take a closer look here, these are actually small agaves that after it's bloomed, these plants come out and you can um, take these and replant them and have lots of other agave uh, pups. The pups are, are typically the ones growing around the base that you see and you have to pull those out and you can replant them. But um, this is another way this plant reproduces is by sending the stalk up. As it grows high, it falls over like this and these things go to the ground and, and uh, they, some of them will take root, others will just die off. But um, but then it's created another agave or two or three or four right next to where the mother plant was. And so you see the mother plant's already died off. We're gonna pull this one out and, uh, and uh, probably put something else in its place. But um, we've taken a bunch of these agave uh, pups coming off the, the flower stalk and I'm gonna transplant those into uh, one gallon containers. So that's it for now, thanks.